come a long way. We hate to admit that. We hate to admit it. We've come a long way. Like in the 50s, we had whites only and blacks only water fountain, which is incredibly sad, especially if you're a thirsty Asian. <laughs> what the hell were they doing? Drinking out of a faucet? No one talks about it. Never come up once. Not a peep. <laughs> Nothing. Black people are pissed. Can you believe this shit? We got our own water fountain. Asian's like, can I get a sip? I'm dying out here. <laughs> I got a triangular hat to block the sun. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Asians. I think they're the best group. I think they're number one. I don't think they get the credit they deserve. I'm an Asian supremacist all the way. I think they're better than the rest. Any Asian people here? Hey, all right. You should be working. Come on. What are you doing having a good time? That's not the Asian I know, God damn it! I want you dealing blackjack or sitting on a box peeling something. Come on. Big fan. Best group. Easily the best group. No love. You guys get the short on the chopstick. It's pretty unfair. <laughs> so quiet. So secure, Asians. Every other group's got to brag and boast. Every group's got a slogan. Black people, I'm black and I'm proud. White people, white power. Hispanics, ay 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 ay. Not an Asian. Asian just head down, grades up. That's it. <laughs> Asian are the best. You never hear about Asian crime. Never. If I was an Asian guy, I would just start mugging people and be like, hey, it's my word against yours. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Oh, yeah. I think the news is a problem. The news pins us all against each other. News makes it seem like all white people are scared of minorities. I don't think all white people are scared of minorities. I do think a lot of white people are scared of looking racist. That's really the big fear with whitey. Like, if I'm walking down the street at 4 in the morning, I see a sketchy-looking white guy coming towards me, I'm like, crap. I'm going to cross the street. If I'm walking down the street at 4 in the morning, I see a sketchy-looking black guy coming towards you, I'm like, crap. I wish I could cross the street. <laughs> right? I'd rather get stabbed and look like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> White people, we are so worried about looking ignorant and bigoted, I guess because of our history. Like, I, I went skiing recently with my friend. We're sitting on the ski lift. I was like, why don't you see more black people skiing? Why is that? My friend has no idea, but he's going to, you know, half-ass his way through it because he doesn't want to seem dumb. So he's like, ah, uh, you know, they don't grow up with it. Like, well, I'm from Louisiana. I'm here. Wow. Ski is very expensive. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've never seen a black guy with anything expensive on their feet. <laughs> Just say you don't know. It's all right. You sound way worse. That's why black people are smarter. White people, we do crazy stuff. We swim with sharks. We go bungee jumping, cliff diving. Ask a black guy, why do they do that? They go, I don't know. That's white people shit. <laughs> That's a good answer. They don't sit around going, well, uh, you know, Europe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But look, yeah, I'm a white guy. If I talk about race now, for some reason another white person ebbly calls me racist. That's like what we do. It's like, I know you're trying to seem like a hero, but you're going to ruin that word. You're going to take the teeth out of it. It's like an important word. You're going to ruin it. Like I was on the subway recently. I was watching an interracial couple make out. I was just staring at them. <laughs> And the guy next to them caught me and he goes, what the hell? I see you staring at them. What are you, racist? I was like, what? Racist? No, I'm a creep. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? I'm hard. What? I'm not a racist. I'm aroused. <laughs> it's an important word. People abuse it all the time. A friend of mine, she's Puerto Rican. We grew up together. She's like, I hate going to the gym. The white women there all give me the stink eye because they're racist. I was like, damn, what happened? She's like, well, first bring my food in and I eat it. Then I play my music really loud. I'm like, oh, maybe they just hate you. <laughs> Let's not lump together all of Puerto Rico because you're being a twat. Right? <laughs> you're being inconsiderate and rude. Take a little ownership. Look within. You can't blame everything on bigotry. Look, I grew up in a black neighborhood. I was a bedwetter. I'd sleep at their houses. Eventually, they stopped inviting me over. I wasn't like, ah, they hate white people. No, I ruined their fucking furniture. <laughs> they didn't hate white. They hated yellow. <laughs> Sorry. 